Well, we just finished up our tutorial on creating our our drawing templates, which includes our first ANSI A in title block. Um, let me go ahead, open that back up real quick as we take a look at it and review what we just went over. Again, you're going to save it as your last name as a DWT file. When we go back in here, this is the model space. Um, this is where you do all your drawings. Um, and then this is paper space. This is the paper that you're going to print on. And model space, as you can see, as I zoom in and out here, it's pretty, it's infinite. There's really no end to model space. Um, the grid system kind of adjusts in the scaling um, as you zoom in and out, but there's no definitive point as to where you can work in your model space. You can have multiple drawings in your model space and then just um, include those drawings in your viewport. When we first opened up AutoCAD, um, we first set up our different layers under the layer properties. So we created our layers. We also created all of our uh, dimension styles. Um, so we have standard, and then we also created uh, fractional. Um, and then we adjusted our meter lines. Um, so the, those are all done when we actually start dimensioning. We learned how to create a line. Um, so when I go to create a line, when I want to draw a line, um, what's probably the best place that I need to specify for the first point of my line when I'm first starting a drawing? Should I just start it out here arbitrarily and then just start my drawing? My suggestion to that is no. You should always start your drawing at 0, 0. So when you start a line, type in 0, 0. And just always start at that origin. It's just going to make things a lot easier for you in the long run when you end up having multiple drawings here throughout and you try to um, use some more advanced features of AutoCAD as far as trying to find these points um, that are associated with these different line segments. It's always better if you associate the drawing with a specific point such as 0, 0. It'll also help in the more advanced level classes when we get into 3D modeling, um, especially when we use SolidWorks for instance. The, you're going to have to start your drawing in SolidWorks um, on the origin and associate it with the origin in order to properly dimension and size everything. So it's just a good habit to get into now um, while we use AutoCAD to use 0, 0. Um, so we also talked about the offset command um, and how we can make parallel copies of different lines at different um, distances as opposed to drawing new lines and trying to guess if I draw a line out here and then I want another line a certain distance away well it's hard to draw in that exact location so then we just use the offset command and then we can determine that distance of how far they are from each other uh, we went in and we also talked about the trim command and trimming tails off of lines um, to get rid of excess lines, um, which also can be included with the extension command and extending lines. Um, we went in and we created our text. So, yes or no, true or false. 
there's only one way to create text. If I click on this text icon up here, the text tool, um, it's only going to allow me to complete or to create one set of text. The answer to that is um, no, there's two. There's multi-line and single line text. Um, multi-line, I'm going to draw a box, a text box basically, and then I can type multiple lines like a paragraph. Um, I can't justify it like I can with a single line text. It's just arbitrary text box that's out there. Where with single line text, I'm going to specify a start point. And a height. And then I can even do a rotation angle. So let's say 45 degrees. And then I can text, type text, and it's going to, I can control the parameters of the text a little more. Um, it's hard to see there. Let me zoom in. So there's my text. And I drew it at that 45 degree angle. We then went on and briefly we talked about different ways to copy. So I can type in the CO command and that allow me to copy um, or click on the copy tool up here. Now if I want to copy something between model space and paper space am I going to use the copy tool or type in copy here or CO on the toolbar and use the copy tool in model space was that going to allow me to transfer or copy from model space to paper space? No, it's not going to. I'm going to have to copy it to the clipboard and then go from the clipboard. I copy it and I can either copy it just how it is or I can copy it with the base point. However, and then from there, I can then go into my paper space and I can paste it out of my clipboard um, and transfer back and forth between paper space and model space. Um, right now I'm not in, I'm in paper space because as I zoom in and out I'm not zooming in and out the viewport so if I draw something right here I'm actually drawing this in paper space and not in model space. So if I went back into model space, there's that first line that I drew, but that second line doesn't exist. It's only going to be in that paper space where I drew it. Um, so that's a viewport and the difference between paper space and model space. Um, and that is our first title block that we have created um, we'll go in next and we'll create our B size paper title block um, it'll be on this second layout tab we'll have to adjust the page setup because right now it's set up for eight and a half by eleven which is a size and we'll have to change it to that eleven by seventeen which is B size um, and then recreate our title block and um, put that into our drawing template. Um, that second title block is going to look something like this. We got our ANSI A, and then we scroll down. Here's our ANSI B. Um, and then we start incorporating like our bill of material and the revisions table. And these are used more for with uh, assembly type drawings or where you have multiple drawings in one that make up like a different part um, or an object that has different parts. So that's going to do it for this first introduction um, into AutoCAD. We'll get next, we'll get into our first drawing assignment, which is the 
shim that I talked about um, on page 181 out of the textbook and I'll do a tutorial on how to draw the shim and then we'll go into the gasket and then we'll start talking about different um, parts and the terminology associated with the drafting world. Thank you and I uh, look forward to continuing to work with you this semester.